we'll be comparing rigid payment and flexible payment some of the points you may be knowing that is difference or comparison between rigid payment and flexible payment like it is white or gray in color color road apart from that uh, it is made up of uh, bitumen it is made up of cement concrete right so those things i can discuss that is uh, here in uh, design precision the precision structure uh, here precision is very high structural analysis uh, accuracy in predicting the payment performance here it is empirical method is applied and uh, in uh, rigid payment we need to take precaution during the design during its construction so that it will last for its design life of 40 to 50 years that is design life here in rigid payment is very high it is almost to two to three times that of the flexible payment flexible payment it varies uh, design life is shorter compared to that of the rigid payment here it is 6 to 10 years or max 12 years in case of some of the national highways it can be predicted up to 20 years not more than that max to max but 6 to 8 years in general here it is uh, 20 to 30 years of uh, design life you can see present day because of uh, various uh, tests and research it is predicted up to 50 years four to five decades of design life we can uh, say in case of rigid payments right and it is uh, maintenance free or it is uh, least demand it demands very less maintenance maintenance is very less here the maintenance required is very high even though it is having short life it demands a lot of maintenance and uh, even for this shorter period of 6 to 12 years we need to maintain it very well with respect to maintenance well designed cement concrete pavement needs very little maintenance and if it is not designed properly or not uh, uh, taken care construction uh, mm, during construction if it is not taken care then the it demands its maintenance cost will be very high during construction of rigid payment if you are not taking care of quality control then it demands maintenance and its maintenance cost is very high it doesn't demand maintenance right rigid payments doesn't demand uh, regular maintenance but whenever it comes whenever it comes means after say some 20 years or 30 years whenever uh, it's when it is nearing to its uh, design life that time if payment fails then the maintenance cost is very high otherwise in general maintenance cost is very less that is 5 to 10000 rupees per kilometer two lane road here it is 30000 to 1 lakh rupees annual maintenance cost of two lane right uh, it demands a regular maintenance that is formation of cracks potholes right so those things we can uh, observe in case of flexible payment and uh, initial cost is more in case of rigid payments whereas very reasonable cost in case of flexible payment right no longer valid as a cost of uh, cement has also increased okay do agree uh, initial cost of uh, rigid payment is uh, high the reason behind that not only the cost of material the cost of uh, uh, quality control the cost of design right and the material transport because of all those things or the construction equipment hmm, construction equipment which we use so so because of all those things the construction cost of rigid payment is high and it is not completely low it is reasonable cost you can see in case of flexible payment then stage construction in case of rigid payments it is once the top layer rigid payment is made above the base layer and uh, sub base layer if you construct then it is over no need to see for or 30 to 40 years but here in case of flexible payment it is made in layers hmm? So whenever <clears throat> it is demanding, then extra 
thickness design thickness uh, surfacing layer can be added even uh, in the construction period that is uh, it demands curing period of 28 days cement concrete need to be cured but here it can be opened within the 24 hours here 28 days here 24 hours and this uh, alternative construction can be made you might have observed one uh, lane they will close one lane they will close and they will construct the road and other side it is allowed so like this they will allow the traffic in case of rigid payment you need to completely close the uh, entire payment because that need to be cured for 28 days mm -hmm. overall economy on life cycle basis life cycle basis means what is the investment which you had made on the rigid payment how much is the returns in terms of vehicle operation cost running cost economical growth in that particular zone right so overall mm, life cycle cost of this rigid payment is uh, it is for long term it is very economical mm. in case of uh, uh, flexible payment construction cost is less maintenance cost is more life cycle cost is is low it is life cycle cost is with respect to low side so likewise you can compare next is availability of material yes here locally available materials will be using along with that cement can be mag manufactured locally uh, no need to get it from uh, different sources right? for example if you are constructing uh, in uh, Karnataka at yeah, Karnataka we have a lot of uh, cement factories from that it can be purchased and can be used locally mm -hmm. uh, and he here in case of flexible payment we need to depend on the crude oil uh, as the crude oil variation uh, take place the respectively cost varies and uh, along with that uh, respect to foreign exchanges also mm -hmm. uh, we are not uh, manufacturing sufficient quantity of bitumen in India so likewise uh, it is imported and import duties and all so it will it is uh, we are depending on the other sources and uh, surface characteristics cement pavement it is free from rutting it is free from the potholes uh, corrugations uh, and a rigid pavement uh, riding quality is always assured in case of uh, rigid pavement whereas asphalt concrete is the only surfacing uh, layer which can assure of uh, riding quality right but uh, there may be chances of uh, settlement there may be chances of uh, formation of cracks right in case of rigid payments so it cannot be assured for a longer period and uh, penetration of water it is not possible to penetrate into the rigid pavement uh, but there will be joints which will be providing those joints need to be maintained well so likewise penetration is it is impervious we can see mm -hmm. only except at joints in case of uh, flexible payments water can penetrate into the uh, flexible payment because of smaller or cracks over the period or uh, maybe maybe pores or less bonding when the aggregate is not dense then there will be penetration of water initial years we may not see those things but over the period uh, the water will percolate or penetrate into the bituminous surface next is uh, utility location so here uh, in, in respect to utility locations from uh, tilakwadi area so earlier independent bungalows of uh, 40 60 or 60 80 sites now they are turning into some two three sites they will take and uh, they are constructing apartments some five six floor apartments so earlier the population density was in this particular site some five to six members hmm? and this here also overall say you can tend to 15 members were there now because of construction of apartments and all the demand hmm, here population density has increased right and it has it, is, it will be demanding more water supply more gas pipelines hmm, than uh, drainage like uh, drinking water gas pipelines electric cables right drainage pipelines so now and then 
all in india especially uh, we, all the things are underground hmm? and that is below the roads so that time we need to rip open the pavement and uh, you need to do the required changes hmm? and you need to again surface need to be leveled or it need to be which is very much possible in case of flexible pavement in case of rigid pavement if you cut open the pavement then the pavement structure will fail it will not serve till its design life of uh, 20 to 30 years here it demands in a smart uh, city work what they have done if you are aware of this white topping road which is uh, taking place in many of the smart cities they are providing the ducts for every two, 200 meters they are providing underground ducts they have made so that um, the any uh, pipeline connections any changes need to be done or any wires need to be taken from this end to that end uh, need, if you want to cross the road so that time all these things can be done through these ducts all the arrangements are made prior only it need to be planned well planning need to be uh, planning is required in case of rigid payment construction right but in case of flexible payment you can cut open any of the uh, portion and you can repair it a small patchwork can be done and it will kind of homogeneous structure with respect to old payment so but it is not possible in case of rigid payment that is about the utility location. Next is glare and night visibility. Hmm? Uh, rigid pavement is as it is light color, it is not a dark pavement surface. <coughs> so because of that, uh, night visibility is good, but during daytime, there will be a glare effect in the during daytime. But in case of rigid pavement, it is dark in nature. So nighttime is uh, demands lighting, street lights uh, to see the road and during daytime it is free from the glare effect right and uh, as i have discussed earlier it can the traffic vehicular movement can be allowed only after its curing period of 28 days but in case of uh, flexible payment within a short period of 24 hours you can allow the vehicular movement right and uh, here Ro rolling here we'll be using the rollers for compacting the pavement layers here we are using vibrators after the proper compaction of the pavement layers and uh, it is not hazardous uh, yes manufacturing of cement will uh, produce co2 but uh, uh, fly ash based or ggbs based uh, cement concrete will not produce any hazardous waste and here the melting of bitumen and uh, burning of bitumen so it will lead to the environmental pollution, right? So those things also can add. So these are the few points. Along with that, okay, if you want, you can add a few more points in flexible and rigid payment.